Well, hello and welcome. I should say welcome to the corner of Fairmont and Commodore. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We are at the Louisville Home Show here in Kentucky. And I've got for you this really, really nice mid-country home. It is a single wide, as you probably saw from the very beginning there. It is 1140 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home. And it's got a floor plan that will blow your mind. Yes, you've got a super large island and there's still room for a dining room. You have a hidden walk-in pantry. Yeah. Have you ever seen a single white with a hidden walk-in pantry before? I can't say that I have. Now this is my first time ever filming a mid-country home. I'm impressed, <laughs> let me just tell you. you. Even got a fireplace in here. Now it is electric, but it is a fireplace. Looks really good. Let's see, uh, what else should I tell you about it? <laughs> so that's gonna be into your bathroom. And there is your back door. Now that's coming off of the kitchen slash dining room area. So let's head back on around. All right, so let's head on in. So as we come up, we've got this really nice door with the lead glass in it. This is your entranceway. You have this really nice kind of a drop zone area where you could set your phones, your keys, your mail, all that kind of stuff. And bedrooms are at that end. And since we are already pointing this way, let's just come to this end of the home first. Bedroom number one. Now this whole home is done with a really light colored wood, except for a couple of places. So like where your fireplace is at, that's done in a really dark colored shiplap. Fairly deep closet. And as we come down the hallway, we'll turn a little bit. We have our electrical panel, our furnace, if I can get it to open. It's got sheetrock on the inside of the door to help absorb some of that noise. We have our utility area. And some window above where your washer and dryer is going to go. And then our first bathroom with the square sink. I didn't even think to look to see what kind of tub, shower tub combo we have. <laughs> All right. So we have the shower tub combo, single piece. And then the second of the guest bedrooms. 
Now this one's not as large as what you would normally see because of the way they did the closet. So instead of the closet being right here and the room running the full width of the home, you have the closet over here. But in so doing, you get a little bit more closet space. Now I did see there is your water heater access right there. And now we can come to the opposite end of the home. Now. Okay, so now for the living room, dining room, kitchen, all that good stuff. And you can see we've got the crown molding all the way around. Now it was back that way, I just didn't point it out. Along with the baseboards. And there's your entertainment center. I know it's hard to see because of the <laughs> how dark the TV is along with the black on the ship lap. But that is a 55 inch TV. Just to give you an idea of how much space you have there for your TV. And check out that kitchen. It is a really nice kitchen for being a single wide. I'm very impressed with this one. Lots of windows. Transom window up top there. Your windows tip out. We've got three large drawers. Actually, I should say four. So we got a lot of stuff in that one. Never fails. <laughs> I always grab one that's full of stuff. Soft clothes on the drawers. They went with the black Whirlpool appliances. Now look at how large this island is. Remember I said you had a hidden walk-in pantry? Like normally when you have a hidden pantry, the cabinets go all the way to the ceiling. We ready? Lights. There we go. <laughs> they come on automatically. Nice walk-in pantry. You almost got room for a small freezer right there. Really nice to see. I think that's one of the largest pantries I've seen in a single wide. And you do got soft clothes on it. Let's see if I can get them to close all the way. And one thing that they've done, this is all across the whole Cavco branding now. On the back side of your island, they've added some cabinets and some cubbies. And then we have our dining room. Of course, they've got the table pushed all the way up. Now this is classified as a breakfast nook on the floor plan, but it obviously works really good as a dining room. And into the primary bedroom.
We've got a large walk-in closet. Even contained with that crown molding in the closet. And then we have a large primary bathroom. We've got a total of five drawers. They kind of made those stand out by going with the lighter color here and the darker colors on the cabinets. You got your linen cabinet over here. I haven't opened up a whole lot of cabinets, so we better get that one at least. I just noticed they went with the matte black poles on the lighter colored cabinets and the gold poles on the darker colors. And I don't think I've said hello to Raiden, so we better say hello. <laughs> really nice shower. And you got that crown molding all the way through your shower. All the way through your bathroom, I should say. Nice shelf for all your shampoos and soaps and conditioners and things like that. And you've got another little shelf over here and one here. So lots of shelves in your in your shower. And I hope you all don't shelf yourself because I know you all ain't elves. <laughs> I know Christmas is over. We don't need to be talking about the elf on the shelf, right? What we should be talking about is this home in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of this beautiful single wide 1100 and some square feet it looks really good floor plan like I haven't seen before make sure you hit the like button hit that subscribe button turn on the notifications share this video with your friends family social media whatever else and I'll be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. What did you think of the mid-country home? I know I keep going like that, like you guys can see the, de the computer, right? <laughs> anyway, so what did y'all think of this uh, mid-country home? Now, this is the model 1W1407-V. I know, crazy model names, right? So this is an 1140 square foot single wide. Tape and texture, you know, all that good stuff. I love the updated features in it. So I'm going to have a copy of all the options listed that they did. Now I'm going to blur out the prices though because I don't know if those prices are what you're going to pay for them or if that is what the, you know, if the dealer is going to pass on those prices to you or if they're going to mark them up. Because this was at a home show and these prices mostly were tailored towards what the dealers are going to pay. And so I can't really show you what the dealer is going to pay. If this was in a lot and they handed me this, I could show you the price. So therefore, the prices are blurred. Other than that, but you can, you'll be able to see all the different options that they did to give you an idea of what the upgrades are, where you could save a few bucks and that kind of thing. I can say that there's $19,000 in options in this home. So you could save a few bucks making this home that is estimated to be a retail pricing around $110,000. You took $20,000 in options off, you could get this for $90,000, roughly speaking. That makes this a really good buy, especially because I don't think the tape and texture on this was an option. I didn't look at it that close, but I think that was standard. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. I got to update my wall now. Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Go Chiefs! I got a new towel coming. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.